We're making Bakashi compost here, which is a anaerobic compost mix. So we're using sawdust as carbon. That comes from a local sawmill. We're using apples from a juicing factory. I'm putting my dags in, as well as we're putting milk powder in. It's a source of nitrogen. We use the microorganisms to break and mix and feed on what we put in. So Bokashi is just simply a word for fermented organic matter. How EM fits into Bokashi is EM is generally the inoculant that stimulates the fermentation. This fermentation allows all of the nutrients to remain and all of the carbon to remain so you're not burning carbon like you do in compost. So it makes it very digestible in the soil. The idea behind Bokashi is to utilise waste in an effective way. So it's all about, you know, looking in the area that you're at and saying, okay, that's a resource that I could use, this is a resource I could use. So it's all about compiling that, making the recipe. One of the problems that I have with compost is some of the issues around disease that can be carried in there. Bakashi takes a lot of that guesswork out for farmers. Compared with traditional composting, the smell is not there. Because of the EM in it, it's feeding the plant straight away as soon as it goes onto the pasture. It's not requiring any more breaking down. Today we're opening up the Bakashi heap and we're going to spread it onto a paddock ready to be drilled in Lucerne. We've had the Bakashi tested for nutrients and we've had the soil tested for nutrients and we'll match the two together so we get the best out of what we're putting on to help the Lucerne grow. When we do a nutritional test and we break it down and we show people you know, what they're putting on and then sometimes I'll relate it back to what it would cost in fertiliser to put that on and Bakashi's coming out on top, majority of the time depending on what resources were used. So the financial benefit from adding Bakashi can be immense. You're building humus which is going to hold more water, hold more nutrient. You're not going to have to pay as much from irrigation fees. You're going to build more topsoil. You're going to create an environment that's going to be a lot more productive.